Welcome. I'm Randall Wong. I'm an ophthalmologist. I'm a retina specialist in Fairfax, Virginia. Thanks for joining me and watching this video series. Today we're going to talk about macular degeneration. We're going to give a short definition of macular degeneration, symptoms of macular degeneration, and review possible treatments for macular degeneration. So what is macular degeneration? Macular degeneration is a disease of the macula. The macula is the most sensitive part of the retina. It's the macula that gives us our best central vision. So macular degeneration is a, is a disease that affects our central vision. It usually affects both eyes, and it usually is present in patients over the age of 50. There are only two types of macular degeneration. The most common type of macular degeneration is the dry form, and this represents about 90% of those patients that have macular degeneration. The less common, the other less common form is called the wet. So we have the dry and the wet. Dry usually causes minimal to moderate vision loss, whereas wet has much more severe vision loss. Dry generally causes slow, insidious loss of vision occurring over months to years whereas wet can cause drastic or dramatic loss of vision in days to weeks. So the difference between dry and wet is really the rapidity in which you lose vision. There's also one other difference, and that's important for the doctors. The wet form has the presence of abnormal blood vessels growing within the layers of the retina. Now these blood vessels can actually cause uh, direct damage to the retina, they can also leak, and they can bleed. And it's for these reasons that this type of macular degeneration behaves so aggressively and so rapid. The two most common symptoms of macular degeneration are simple. It's blurry vision and or distortion. The blurry vision often manifests or shows up in complaints of inability to read or maybe sometimes black spots or brown spots that are fixed in someone's central vision. Macular degeneration affects the central vision. So really, any change in the central vision, one needs to think of macular degeneration or possibly other macular diseases. So how do we treat patients with macular degeneration? In general, for patients with dry macular degeneration, there is no treatment. There is a treatment for those patients with wet macular degeneration. Now you're gonna ask, well, what about vitamins? There are few patients with high-risk characteristic macular degeneration who should be taking vitamins so that the other eye is less likely to, to develop severe vision loss. These vitamins are not going to improve your vision in either eye. So I don't really look at that as a treatment. So again, there's no real treatment for dry macular degeneration, whereas we often inject uh, patients with mac wet macular degeneration with a medicine called, or a class of medicines called anti-VEGF, and that's V-E-G-F, and it stands for Vascular Endothelial Growth Factor. Now this medicine directly targets the abnormal blood vessels that are growing within the layers of the retina, causing the abnormal blood vessels to shrink up, stop leaking, and to stop bleeding. And in, and in this scenario, often, depending on how timely the treatment, we often see improved vision. So in the last few minutes, we've talked about the definition of macular degeneration, which is that it's a bilateral disease. It affects both eyes and affects mainly the central vision. We've talked about the two types of macular degeneration. The most common type of macular degeneration is the dry form. Again, it affects about 90% of patients with macular degeneration. The other type of macular degeneration is called wet. And the difference between the two is that the wet form robs your vision much more quickly than the slower insidious dry form. The wet form also has the presence of abnormal blood vessels growing within the retina. As far as treatments concerned, there really are none for dry macular degeneration. And my disclaimer is you've got to talk to your own eye doctor about what may be appropriate in terms of taking vitamins. As far as wet macular degeneration is concerned, the best treatment we have these days are anti-VEGF medications. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please add them at the end of this video or at the end of the article in which you found this video. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. I'm Randall Wong, Retina Specialist, Fairfax, Virginia. Thanks for watching. Thank you.